Today I'm going to show you how to make a subpopulation or a subselection from your total population here. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. The easiest way to do it is, so if I'm in the statistics tab and I want to know the intensity value of, of a specific channel, like the mean intensity or mean, the max intensity of channel 3, but I only want to know it for certain spots. The way I can do this, there's a bunch of different ways. Um, you can just select the ones that you're interested in by holding the control key and you can see that the ones that I'm selecting will highlight and turn yellow. I can then in the statistics tab instead of being in the detailed or overall tab I'll switch to the selection tab and the ones that I have selected by holding the control key and are yellow will be the ones that are populated on here. And then if I want to go back to that statistic I'm interested in, the max intensity of channel 3, I can switch to that one. And then by selecting this single disk icon, I can export just the subpopulation or the selection of objects that I'm looking at. Um, so that's by using just the pointer method. We also have the circle selection tool. So if you know that the ones that you want are going to be in like the same sort of area, I can uh, change my circle tool and I can change the size of the circle that's being selected by using the center by holding the shift key on my keyboard and scrolling with my center mouse wheel to change the size of my circle and then I can select anything that's within this circle tool or touching the outer edge of the circle tool will turn yellow and you can see that it highlights it through all three dimensions like that so it's literally anything that's present on that field of view and I can rotate around to select where I want. I can hold the control key again, just like I did in the, in the pointer um, tool and select multiple areas that I'm interested in. You can see that my selection over here on the statistics will um, update and change and add those different objects. And so this is, create, this is making um, a lot uh, in my sub selection here and you can see that it goes through the entire volume anything that's below that circle tool is going to be selected so if I wanted just to do a single Z plane I can switch instead of being in the volume rendering I can switch to the slicer rendering and I can go in here and I'm still going to be in the circle selection tool um, and then I can click right here and see only one object was placed here but if I switch back to volume rendering you can see there were a whole bunch more objects that would have been selected if I was in volume rendering but because I was just in that slice rendering mode I can um, kind of have a little bit finer control of what's being selected and so if we switch back to volume you'll see that only that plane that was actually displayed in the slicer rendering was what was selected not the entire volume. Um, another way to make a subpopulation for exporting statistics is to go to this filter tab. And in the filter tab, this allows you to select your objects based on a statistic. So if I wanted to look at the intensity max, that same statistic I'm looking at for channel three, but then just select ones that are within a range that I'm interested in, uh, I'll just move this display just the window a little bit, you can see that these objects over here have a higher level of the green channel and so I'm selecting based on the statistic. And so this is my selection, once again highlighted in yellow, I can go back to the statistics tab and then in my selection, those are the ones that are highlighted there. I can also use this same uh, filter tab to create a new subpopulation of the spots objects or any objects this works for for surfaces also but I would just select this duplicate selection to new spots and you can see that I have my my population that were highlighted yellow in the original population and it's now just in this new population of those ones that have that intensity and max of channel 3 above a specific level so and you can do that for any statistic that's generated so those are a couple of different ways of creating a subselection or a selection of your objects based on either clicking them and holding the shift key with the pointer or the circle tool or using a statistics 
to select the objects that you're interested in. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.